What's up everybody, Chef Ronda here. Another episode into taking backyard barbecuing to the next level. Today we're gonna to be doing bacon wrapped meatloaf on the Blackstone griddle. Griddle up. Okay, first, what are we gonna start off with? We've got ground beef, got three pounds of ground beef. We're gonna put it in a nine by five loaf pan. So, what we're gonna do here we're going to season our meat and get it worked up. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Uh, I'm doing it breadcrumbs, onions, garlic, ketchup, salt and pepper. I've already measured everything out. So let's go ahead and start tossing the meat. So first thing, oh, and an egg. I forgot. Just one egg there. Pepper, salt, you don't need too much salt because you've got the bacon that'll add to it. One cup of breadcrumbs, half of a sweet onion. all that out there six garlic cloves all chopped up let's get some fresh garlic and one cup of ketchup again you can do this however which way you like meatloaf and how you do your own seasoning some people do it um, with just a, a seasoning pack of, of meatloaf seasoning. Uh, this is something I've kind of come up with on my own. I've always done it in the oven. So it'll be interesting to see how this comes out on the griddle. Uh, I've looked at it a couple different ways and seeing how it's done. I think this should come out great, but uh, you gotta do it right. So let's see how we go. All right here, just gonna flip my meat. Yeah, got to use two hands for this kind of meat. All right, and as you can see, I'm not really trying to pack it too much as I'm flipping it here because we're going to do that in the pan. So really what I want to do is just really spread everything out. And while I'm doing this, try to keep it loose and not pack it up too much. Spread the flavor. Now we're gonna take our pan and we're gonna add bacon. So, got a piece of wax paper in here. That way, when I put it on, it should fall right out onto the griddle. And we're gonna let, we're gonna go to where one side will be longer. So here. So we can wrap this up.
So with our extra bacon, I went ahead and cooked it up because I may want to snack while this uh, meatloaf is cooking and why not? It's bacon and bacon's just fantastic. See how this works out. And boom. Look at that. So there is our meatloaf. So, so we're going to do 12 minutes on each side. I've got my little timer here. So that's going to start and create a convection oven type eight quart pan or stainless steel bowl. And we're going to put it right over there. We'll check it back in 12 minutes. Okay. Let's see how she looks. It looks, that smells delicious. So now the key is going to be to do a complete flip from the top to bottom. success look at that start the timer 12 minutes All right, our timer has gone off, so let's take a look. All right, look at this. Right here, all right. So now we've got to do the sides. So let's. Ah, lost soldier. But it's definitely, it's starting to solidify and harden up. about but we got it we got it <laughs> all right so we're gonna do 12 minutes on that bottom then we're gonna flip come up here get 12 minutes on top of here and then we'll start checking with our thermometer start checking that temperature see if we've got it right where we need to be right now 145 degree temp uh, I went ahead and used this uh, stainless steel eight quart bowl I thought I could get away without uh, using a um, basting dome uh, for this uh, this meal, this cook, and I was 
very wrong. I should have had the basting dome ready to go so I could just easily take use the handle, lift it right up. Uh, instead, using both utensils, it's working, but definitely should have used a basting dome. Yeah, we're there. 162, we're there. Excellent. Let me check one other area here, just to make sure. Oh yeah, we're good. This thing is done. Now it's time to taste this and see how good it is. Let's take a nice bite out of this. Nice. Here we go. Mm. Man, everybody, this was a great cook. I really, really enjoyed making this bacon wrap meatloaf on the Blackstone griddle. A uh, couple of things I learned. I need a basting dome. I suggest everyone, if you can, go out and get one. They have the Blackstone brand at Walmart. If you want to run to the store, they have both sizes. You can go to uh, Blackstone, uh, Blackstone website. They have them there. And of course, you can find them on Amazon, just like everything else. I will put the links below in uh, the description so you guys can check it out. Uh, but <clears throat> that would have helped um, using the tongs and uh, spatula. It worked, got the job done, but it would have been much easier just to grab it by the handle, lift it up, set it down. Other than that, this really came along well. Uh, cooking it 12 minutes on each side, I think I went an extra three and a half to four minutes. Uh, just to get that temperature where I need to be where I knew it was safe and I knew it was cooked. Everything came out delicious. Very happy with it. I would make this again in a heartbeat. Everyone, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a like, share it. And again, if you want to check me out and see videos when they're coming out, I try to put them out as, at least every week. If I can, you know, day to day work, stuff like that. But uh, hit that subscribe button. You'll get every new update when we're doing a new cook. And everybody, as always, riddle up.